hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today once again with the xiaomi pad 5 if you haven't watched the unboxing i will leave a link right over here and i'm almost finishing my test to publish my full review and my opinion so far is that this tablet is just awesome build quality the screen the power that it has but it has also a few limitations now one of those limitations is the usb type c doesn't have native hdmi output why because the technology behind is usb 2.0 when in my opinion should be usb 3.0 or usb 3.1 and that would solve this issue having that said we will not cry about it we will try to find a solution and see if that solution will fit into your needs or not and that's what i hope that this video is for and i could share this on my full review but i do believe that we need a little bit more experience so that i can show to that side of the screen especially if the latency will affect your type of work or not why because this tablet has the power enough to surpass some laptops as we have seen on the unboxing but in some cases you want to use as a tablet take full advantage of it but when you come home you want to take full advantage of your big screen uh, display or tv and you want to keep on working on a bigger so talking about bigger this is the ecoflow solar battery i don't know if you've seen the unboxing i'm testing it out at this moment is powering this tv the google chromecast that it's behind here and also my laptop right over there which is recording the sound and it could be also powering the xiaomi pad 5 why not really really cool but i will share with you in just a few days the tests that i'm doing i still need to put it on my solar panels and so on and so forth but now let's focus on the xiaomi pad 5 now what i'm going to use today is wireless display i'm going to use the google chromecast which is connected to my tv right over here but in terms of tests i've tested on nvidia shields i've tested actually on two nvidia shields i've tested on the google chromecast i've tested on two samsung tvs and i've tested also on the mini t5 and other android tv box that i've got on another tv right over there so in terms of compatibility we have a lot and i'll show you two ways but one works better than the other one in terms of compatibility now let's go to the uh, settings right over here let's go to the uh, sharing menu right over here and then we have one which is the transmit and this is in portuguese but uh, as you can see it will be the same as yours if you use in English and uh, if I press on it will only show me one device at this moment which is the TV Samsung LED 25 which is this TV right over here and it's connected to the same network and it will not show me any other device I've tried this all day long forward and back forward and back and no but we have another solution if we go back and on the same menu where it does transmit we have a menu which says wireless display so in wireless display as you can see we will find a lot more devices so i've got the samsung led 22 which is this one right over here i also have here hidden almost the samsung series 7 which is one uh, that i did connect upstairs 55 inches tv and it works great as well just connected to my network by the way these devices are connected on different networks and they all aggregate on the same network so it doesn't matter which wi-fi connectivity i'm using it can capture right over here which it doesn't on the other menu now in this particular case i want to connect to the chromecast which is right over here latest generation and i'm just going to press cast it will ask me yes and i will say yes and bam there we go so as you can see really really quickly and i can use the trackpad and this um, keyboard right over here so that we can check out in terms of latency as you can see it's quick and in my opinion and i'll show you that but in my opinion i can work fine with it without any issues if i'm going to create a, a document or office document if i go right over here this was my text in portuguese because i just recorded the video in portuguese let's uh, let's talk a little bit more so that you guys can check out the latency <laughs> and if there's any typo just have uh, that in mind but here it is guys in terms of latency and we can go to i don't know to a browser 
So this is an English video so that you guys can check out my lips with the sound. First of all, the remote is very well built. The plastic is great. It's not that cheap plastic that we find on the usual remote that we find on Android TV boxes. Now, taking a look at the box itself in terms of the connectivity and first of all, in terms of the hardware, it's using a sock that it's not new to us here on the channel. We have tested some machines with it. It's the AM Logic S905X3, which is a great sock. We took show you a few images in just a few moments now in terms of connectivity we will find the usb 3.0 and then a power okay guys so probably that is enough in terms of using it to display text and word documents and work on it no issues at all in terms of video editing if you want to do some play around with video editing right over here you will be able to do if we want to watch uh, video and we will have no problem at all with the lip synchronization and the audio as you could see right over there so here it is a workaround a solution for one of the frustrations or limitations that we did find on the xiaomi pad 5 hope that this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one